Good, uh, good night, everyone. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi, team. Hi. Hi. I cannot see your uh, photo. And uh, I know like if everyone use the uh, camera will be a problem. But uh, you camera, speak uh, so to set. me. If you can have a photo, or you can uh, image that will be good. Let's get up. There we go. Know each other better. It's like, a, <laughs> yeah. But anyway, thank you so much. Um, Harrison, uh, Yan Tao, Zhuang. Hi, I'm here. Hello, hi. Good evening. So uh, probably uh, most of uh, us come already. So maybe uh, we can start. Uh, today is the, the first formal uh, uh, online uh, lecture. So we, are, we have to uh, find the best way to, uh, to teach. So um, uh, you can see I have uh, lots of uh, equipment, like I have a whiteboard behind me. I'm not sure if I write something, you can see it or not, but I will uh, try. Uh, if not possible, I, I would use other method. Now uh, we go to uh, Canvas. Have you seen my uh, screen? Can you see my screen? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. And then we uh, start to discuss, and we already uh, finished analog filter design in week two. Actually, this week we will discuss digital filter design. It's been basically mainly uh, for FIR and the IR filter. So this is uh, the most important uh, uh, part of uh, this uh, subject. Uh, before uh, I go ahead, I want to uh, emphasize uh, maybe we will cancel our final exam because uh, it is very hard to uh, organize a final exam. Uh, in that case, we will increase the percentage of each section of uh, the project. So fun finally, is, uh, maybe we, uh, we will give the final mark. Maybe it's stage one, I think is uh, uh, we increase to uh, 25 percent, and uh, uh, stage two 30 uh, 30 percent, and the stage three is 40 uh, percent, something like that. But that we'll make it uh, more uh, 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 specific, uh, more detail, and let you know. But uh, although we don't have a funding exam, but uh, uh, we still need to uh, pay attention to the theory behind. Because nowadays you can see, I will show you uh, later, anything you can use uh, MATLAB or use other live view to uh, implement for you. Um, but how to exp well explain it is a problem. So you need to, uh, in that case for your, pro for this uh, uh, subject, we, we, we have a three, uh, mainly three assignments. So the first assignment uh, is the uh, stationary signal processing. And the second one is non-stationary. So the third one is the most difficult part. We currently try to find the method uh, to, uh, to, to, because that's uh, basically before it's in the, we need to use uh, some equipment in the, you, are, you already see it in the first lecture. So uh, we will find some way. Uh, and, and you know, like, uh, because you are also uh, at home, if you have some equipment, uh, if biomedical related, that's best. If not, if uh, uh, medical related, uh, like uh, all, although even even some like uh, uh, mobile phone, we can measure something and some uh, signal, and then we can do the signal processing. Uh, but anyway, we will uh, discuss later. So, but the fundamental knowledge is actually so stage one, uh, stage one and stage two. We will teach uh, FIR, IR filter, and later we will discuss about short-term Fourier transform, and we will teach te uh, teach uh, continuous wavelet and. Uh, discrete time wavelet. And uh, some later we would maybe discuss about 2D signal image processing, very basic uh, image processing part. So nowadays, you know, signal processing is not only just for uh, the filtering, is we need to also do classification, regression, and uh, uh, statistic analysis, uh, uh, include so many uh, aspects. Um, so for the, each stage, we need to write a report. So the report will reflect your understanding 
the basic knowledge, uh, the, uh, the knowledge behind. So now we uh, go to the lecture st structure, right? So I put uh, some reading material. Actually, we will base on one of the, maybe uh, the first uh, slides to uh, discuss our uh, today's lecture content. Because we, I think it's very uh, many, there's many uh, topics we need to cover. If you haven't read it before, it's quite difficult. Uh, so we cannot cover all of them. I mean, I will pick up some very important one. Probably I will, because I want to uh, try my teaching uh, facility. Uh, I, I maybe I discussed first the topic is, uh, because last week we discussed the uh, analog filter design. So uh, analog filter design, actually, you know, uh, no matter it's a filter or controller or some other equipment, you know, like history is like we first developed analog equipment, for example, analog filter, analog controller. And then when the computer come and everything, they want to use digital one. So digital is more sophisticated. But uh, from a history point of view, uh, human first developed the, the technique knowledge for analog system. So today, uh, we first discussed, I, I remember I discussed like uh, uh, how to base on analog uh, system design to design digital controller, the uh, digital uh, system. So that's uh, today's uh, uh, main uh, topic. So before our to uh, topic, I, 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 in the announcement, announcement, I listed the several, uh, several uh, topics covered. So first is the structure of IR and FIR filter. So what's the structure of it? Now we look at, uh, maybe we look at a simu, uh, Simulink. So this is a Simulink. Simulink is a MATLAB uh, toolbox. It's a, this, this is also graphical programming uh, toolbox. Uh, it's similar as a uh, uh, lab view because I don't have lab view in uh, uh, version, I mean, license in, at home. Uh, I, I use the uh, Simulink uh, to do the, to, to do teaching because this is a very easy, uh, uh, very, I mean, give you a very uh, intuitive understanding about signal processing. So I use this one, uh, but is, you are not compulsory to, under, to, to know everything about Simulink, uh, unless you, can, you, you also like me, you don't have a lab view license, you, you, but you have a Simulink, Simulink license, not lab license, and then you can use Simulink as well. So this is optional, it's not compulsory, but I will show you like here, uh, we show you uh, what's the IR and FIR filter. Uh, so this is the, maybe we go to, uh, first we go to, uh, go to the website. In the website, uh, this, is this is a structure of the, I will come back later. So we just go to, uh, it's a bit of a, uh, uh, not very, uh, I, I, I go to the website. So we find the filter command. In the MATLAB. So you can see that if we go to 1D uh, filter MATLAB, So if you want to use a filter command, actually they have two uh, coefficients you want to, you need to design. The first one is B and then it's A. So why we write this format? Actually for the uh, filter, uh, because this is a linear time invariant filter. So it's, we can easily use, uh, I mean, for example, use the transform to, uh, to, uh, to describe the system. The transform is a fractional form the numerator is a polynomial of that, and the denominator is also a polynomial of that. But the, the, the dimension of the denominator normally is greater or equal than the numerator. So here we look at the how, how does it explain. Because this is a, a, a called a moving window average filter. 
called the moving average filter. That means like you can see like uh, uh, input actually actually as x, x n. What's the, the x n minus one means is like is the previous uh, input. Uh, this until to a window, right? You want to move window, the window and the divide by window side. This is y n. So for this kind of uh, filter, you can directly write. Maybe I use my uh, uh, my breadboard to be to describe what's the structure. Uh, for example, if uh, if you have a HDD, HDD, can you see it? Can you see it? It's too far. Too far. If you, if you double click his profile, you can zoom in on the on the video. Uh, double click. I have got it. Uh, can you see? Thanks, it? man. It's it's okay. Yeah, it's all good. It's all good. Okay. So in that case, I I use I write a little bit of beep would be better, right? Yeah. Yeah. So I. So in that case, first I write the. It's true. So the structure of the old filter, right? Because for for example, for the continuous uh, system, you already know, right? It's H uh, HS first function. Is HS you you remember the first order is uh, something is K uh, TS plus one. So this is a first order uh, system, continuous system. But this is a uh, uh, not very uh, general. We if I, for high order because if you write a high order, you can write something like this. So this is a B zero. So this one is a little bit still not very. So the, maybe I write it a uh, still not good. I write uh, down a little bit. It's this H S. So the general form. So you can you, uh, read the, can you see my uh, screen as well? Can you see the, the? Yes. Yeah, yes. can you see this one? Yeah, as well, right? This is a, yeah. a Z, uh, for the Z transform. So for the, for, uh, for the uh, continuous system, sometimes we use, uh, also, this is a, uh, this is the polynomial of S. So if if the order is n, so we have a n plus uh, a uh, n minus one s n minus one. Can you see this? Can you see the in the bright ball in the white ball? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Okay, that's great. Yes. So, so we have a, a coefficient on q to a one s plus a zero. So that's the denominator. Uh, structure. Here, uh, the a n a n minus one until to a zero. This is the coefficient of the denominator. Uh, similarly, we have a b n a b m because normally n is greater or equal than m. So we have b m s m plus uh, b m minus one s m minus one and until to uh, B zero. So in that case, uh, for continuous system, we have uh, B and A as well. So you, if you use filter, uh, but uh, uh, for the for the uh, continuous system, we maybe not use filter, but we use, for example, we use a trend function. You use, if you use in the MATLAB, you use trend and A, B, uh, something like this, and then you, this is a, a vector, and then you can uh, you can TF. You just use TF. Sorry, you, if you if you if you use uh, uh, in the MATLAB, you use TF. I will show you in the MATLAB uh, continuous system. I think uh, you you maybe know you already know that, but I for example I write here TF. If our input uh, the A the B, we first write the, uh, the B denominator is uh, two and one. And the, 
the one is the denominator is three, two, one. So in that case, you can see the structure is a uh, is something like this. Have you, have you can you see this uh, uh, trans function? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. This is for continuous system, but for discrete time system, uh, we can very similarly. We just change this uh, s. We change this one. Is d, right? So it's d level, and then z. We change the z as as uh, s as z. So S that that is another polynomial, but this is distributed time. So the distributed time, uh, they have some uh, structure like we, for example, I here, if I use, uh, if we look at the Simulink model, right? This is a Simulink model. You can see I also have a numerator and a denominator here. So this is a, a numerator. Numerator for this one is only first order. So I only have very long uh, one is a, just a real number. And then the second uh, one is a denominator is a only a second order. So th this is a, uh, the discrete time system or discrete, uh, discrete time uh, filter. So. Uh, our, our, our task is to design how to design the A and the B to satisfy, for example, a low pass, high pass, and everything. So, uh, so the first question we want to uh, discuss is uh, what's the structure, what's the difference between IIR and the FIR filter? So, for example, I give you a, a example like this one, for example, the second one. Uh, the second uh, the the second question is here. Can you see this is a FIR or IR filter? Uh, you can see this is a little bit different because uh, here actually we didn't uh, use the transform, right? This is a, uh, it's a what's the equation name? What's the name of the equation? It's a differential equation or difference equation. This is a difference equation. So this difference equation can Right can transfer to the use the transform can transfer in the uh, the uh, uh, form and we can write the transfer function in the for in the uh, format I discussed. So we can see here is a default is a uh, this is the transform. We have a one, a two, e one, and then this is uh, the structure of the transform. This is the first order the transform. So for that one, we can also transfer to this format. So because before you are something like this, before this is a this is a difference equation. You can see uh, y n and the first uh, coefficient of x n is one over the window size. For the second one, is also one over the window size because uh, this one is special. It's an average, just plus them together and divided by the number of uh, uh, items. So it's average and. Uh, you can A and B, you can see this show you A and B. So here A, you can A, uh, A is one, because you know like in the Y side, this is one, but the B side, this is the input, right? They are all the same. It's one over window size. Yeah, so this is A and B. So after you get the one A and the B, you can plot the uh, uh, the filter. You can filter the system. Now my question is like, how to transfer transfer the the one here in the Z form? Can anyone can transfer this one in a transfer uh, Z transform? Maybe I I give a little hint.
So for example, I cannot see that, but we have say y n, right? Equals to uh, this one is uh, zero point two, right? N minus one. Plus, uh, I maybe I make it simple. I know the exactly same as that one is five x n minus two. So for this one, for this one, if we write when we write the z uh, transform, we actually we can assume y n the z transform is y z, right? And uh, we also assume uh, x n the z transform is x z is x z, and then what's the z transform for x n minus one? Actually, according to the property, is z x z minus one x z because the this is a z minus one is a delay one uh, period period for the signal. This is a, also have a condition. It's like this x, the zero initial condition. And then, because for the trans function, we all assume uh, it's zero initial condition. That means x and x zero, x uh, zero, uh, uh, minus one are all zero. It's the initial condition. And then we can write this is a five x. So uh, x z, because this is the uh, n minus two. So what's the z here? Is a we should time z minus two, right? And then we can transfer this one uh, as a z transform, and then this one is a zero point two z minus one plus five z minus two times x z. So this already a uh, z transform form. So my question is that this is a for this one is a infinite response filter or finite response filter. I give you a hint. If you give an impu impulse input, can you see the yn will be infinitely have value or will have some value and then disappear? There's no value. For example, if you give an input, uh, it's an impulse. That means only x1, uh, only x0 is uh, 1. Others are all 0. Can you assume like y n for this one, y one, y two, y three until to y infinite, we always have value. If yes, then this is an infinite uh, impulse response from the name. You can see that. But if uh, no, it's a finite impulse response. I tell you this one is a. Maybe I. So how do you think of this one? Do you think it's a finite, uh, uh, finite impulse response or non, uh, or, or is it uh, infinite? Is IR or FIR? Anyone give me a hint? Actually, this one is an infinite, uh, sorry, it's a finite response. So we look at this new back to the simulation here. For example, here, uh, in this structure, because this uh, denominator for this one, the denominator is not just only one, and then they have a y n minus one term. So this is a infinite. This IR filter. Now we discuss uh, the first uh, IR filter design method is uh, called, we already uh, discussed uh, in the, here, we want to look at uh, uh, the, uh, we already discussed the structure of IR and FIR filter. Maybe we can also uh, go to the website, directly find the, maybe a more clear explanation, maybe more than this, uh, I go to FIR. Uh, 
to this FIR structure. Uh, this is a physical structure. Maybe we find some Actually, in the video, in the class video, I already uh, put there. Uh, because the time is limited, so I don't want to discuss too much about that. Uh, it's actually, the, we already uh, finished the structure. And the second is, uh, topic, is, major topic is how to design uh, equivalent digital filter if we design analog filter. Here, we assume we have an analog filter. It's 1 over 5s plus 1. So. Uh, how to derive an uh, equivalent uh, called the response matching method. Uh, so in that case, for example, we have a, a step input. So here's a step input. So the step is, uh, maybe we write, we have see the step. Quite slow. So this 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 is the step. You can see the step is start from uh, zero point five and go to one. So if uh, we can see this one, uh, if we see output, this the output is called the step uh, response. And uh, what? So we can look at uh, uh, this uh, one is uh, this is analog filter uh, filter output. So this is a, a digital filter. We designed the filter. We look at whether they are equivalent or not. So we run again. So they are uh, mostly they are similar. So the the system looks weird. Yeah. Uh, So this is a digital filter uh, output. So you can see this is a sampling rate zero point one. Now I will show you how to design this uh, digital filter. This have equivalent uh, step response. This one is not very good. I use uh, the oscillator cock with this one. Change this one out. So I use this one to show you uh, the comparison between discrete time and the analog system. You can see they are, uh, they are exactly match. I'll show you again. One is digital system, one is analog system, but their response, step response is exactly the same in the, in the, uh, I mean, in the sampling point, they are exactly the same. So how to design a filter uh, like this? So today I want to discuss this one and we have lots of other things to discuss because now it's already half hour past. I, after I finish this uh, IRR filter design, I will mainly discuss about uh, the project, the first stage project. I use uh, Simulink again to explain how to, uh, well, first I use uh, uh, MATLAB to show the offline uh, 
single node analysis. And then I would use uh, Simulink to show you how to implement the real time uh, single node processing. Actually, here for, the, for this filter, it's actually this simulation is real time. Uh, what I thought why is real time? Because for any uh, system, for example, the filter, when you want to uh, run this filter, you need to uh, only the available available data is a previous data. You cannot use the future data. But for the uh, offline analysis, you can use the future data. Like in, in the current point, you can use time is one, but you can use time two uh, measurement. So this is offline. But so online is always you can use the previous history data. So this is a kind of uh, real time uh, implement. Now I uh, will discuss about how to uh, design a IIR filter. Maybe I make this one bigger. Hi, everyone. Can you hear me? Yes. Yep. So I continue. I, after I finish this uh, topic, uh, because other topic I already uh, put in the UTS online. All the topics is available in UTS online. I will go, uh, that's uh, YouTube. I will show you one by one. But this one is, uh, I cannot find a good one in the YouTube. So I will do it here and also try our teaching mode like this is uh, it's okay or not. And in the future, I can uh, improve the, 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 the quality of the equipment. You already know, uh, you already see the simulation. So what we want to do is do the things because that design is based on, I use MATLAB to design. And here I want to use hand to show you how to design the equivalent uh, filter. So basically normally we have a, for example, this is a, this is a continuous, this is a continuous filter. Uh, our system is HS. Uh, the system and the filter is HS, the input is H, XS and the YS. So this is a input signal, for example, input signal is XT and the Y, y is the uh, mean output is YT. So the Laplace transform is XS and the YS. But for this one, because we want to uh, use, uh, uh, because you remember in the, uh, in the uh, Simulink, we use a step. That means the input is a step. It's a step input. We want to design an equivalent, equivalent digital controller called HDZ. So this digital controller. And then we want to, the input is also the same input, same similar input. It's called XN. And uh, all use XZ in the Z transform. So this is uh, also like step, but it's not called a step a, uh, signal, it's called a unit step. So it's just something we sampled, we sampled the sing, uh, step signal called, called a unit step. And we also have a output y, uh, yn and uh, yz. And, uh, in the, we want to this equipment, you already see the simulation, right? So if that is the, the step response of the, of the continuous system signal. And then we want to design the system to let the output of the signal is actually, it's just the sample. It's a sample the signal of the continuous system. So in that case, this we can see like, we give a same input, we get the same output. So I, then we can see this two uh, filter or these two system is equivalent in the sense it's called response matching. But we can only guarantee this is a first step they are matching. Can we guarantee if this input is sinusoid or is impulse or if it is a uh, exponential function, we cannot guarantee. So that's because the, in the theory, it has already been proved. 
you cannot find a totally equivalent digital thing, the digital filter equivalent equivalent with the continuous filter. Now uh, this is the requirement. We we have a we have a continuous system. How can we design a digital system to make it uh, uh, equivalent? Now I uh, I will step by step to uh, to uh, describe the design procedure. But maybe we use an example. For example, we just use the 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 one we uh, in the Simulink we use. Do you remember what's our HS? Actually. I already show you is a one over five x plus one. This is a transfer function of the for the continuous system, and I can also write this one as a little I change a little one because this one we can make it zero point two we divide it by five so s plus zero point two. So for this is uh, for this one this is a stable system. Right? Why it's stable? Because we can see what's the power of this system. It's a minus 0 0.2. So it's in the left hand left hand side of the plan. So it, it is stable. So we we transfer in this form. This is this is an input. Uh, I mean this is a continuous trans function. So the next step, because we want to equivalent, uh, we want to uh, Design equivalent controller. So our first step is we want to first, if we can find the y z, and also we can get the x z. So for the x z, we already know. So because for unit step, what's the z transform for unit step? Before that, I give you a a, 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 a formula x. So what's the formula for this one? Because we need to use this formula. If S, we use this one as Sn, right? Sn is equal to this one. How to calculate Sn? Actually, we can x times x Sn equals x plus x squared plus Xn plus one, right? And then based on this one, if on this one is x n, so if uh, if we use uh, x n minus x s n, and then we can get so in that like case because the s n minus s uh, x times s n, so we can cancel this one because this all negative. Cancel this one, cancel this one until cancel this one, and then we can get this one is one plus x n plus one. So in that case, we can get the summation of this one. We can get it is x n is equals to one minus x one plus x n plus one. If n go to infinite and x, the norm of x is less than one, and then this one will go to zero. So in that case, the, if this finite uh, is infinite number of items. But their summation is still fixed. It's a can, it can write in a closed form. Remember this formula, and then we can easily derive the Z transform. Z transform of a unit step. So unit step. So unit step. So because unit step is actually is a x x zero equals to one x one equals to one until x infinite is equals to one. But if uh, less than one, for example, x x minus one, x minus two are all zero. So this is a unit step, right? If we want to write the closed form of the z transform of this one. Actually, we use that previous field formula because for for the for for the z transform for this impulse train or for this uh, unit step, we can write this x zero times z minus zero plus x one times z minus one mm -hmm. because all of this uh, x zero x one they are all one. So in that case, this one is very simple. 
is only is x plus z minus one plus z minus two until z minus infinity, right? And but we remember that formula, and then we can easily write this is one over one minus x. X is z minus one, so we have minus z minus one. So the z transform of a unit step is z divided by z minus one. You use this formula to also derive a uh, exponential function. I will not discuss in detail, but I will discuss this one later. Uh, this transform, I think, uh, Kyrie maybe will give you a tutorial later about how to do uh, uh, give some tutorial question in the converse to teach you how to uh, do the Z transform. But uh, the first step, or the two step is we want to because we already know X Z. X Z is actually is a Z Z minus one. And then how to get x z? So this is a key point. So in that case, the first step, we want to calculate we calculate the continuous output at y t. So we do continuous output y t. So how to calculate the continuous output y t? Is any uh, idea about how to continuous calculate continuous? Out of the YT. Actually, we use the uh, inverse Laplace transform, right? So uh, I will uh, do it now. First, we count the YT. First, we count the YT. And then we can calculate the sample of the data, YN, a sample of the YN. And then we based on the formula and we can direct calculate yz. So that's our strategy. So in that case, our first step is how to calculate uh, yt. So we use uh, uh, we use inverse Laplace transform. Inverse Laplace transform uh, uh, ys. So what's ys equals two? Actually, here it's very uh, simple, right? So it's an uh, input is xs. Xs is a step input. So what's a, a step input? Uh, the Laplace transform. It's one over s. So one over s, and then times hs. Hs is uh, we already said is zero point two, uh, one uh, s plus zero point two. So this is a. Um, The uh, Laplace transform of uh, uh, mass, and then we can use a uh, uh, partial friction method to calculate. We make two parts because this is times, but maybe we can directly use the residual method. Maybe you still remember, uh, maybe someone used residual. I'm uh, I like to use residual method, it's quite straightforward. So we just make s because we have two uh, pole. Why is s equal zero equals to zero? Another pole is uh, limit s equals two minus zero point two. So we have two items. Uh, we plus them. So this this is the so this is the the two items. So first item because s equals zero. So this item we times s. So s times s and uh, zero point two s plus 0 0.2 and then e to the s t right and the second one is uh, because we have uh, s over one so 0 0.2 s plus 0 0.2 because we let s go to minus 0 0.2 so we need the times s plus 0 0.2 and the times e s t as well and then we cancel this one cancel this one and then it is we derive again yt. The first one is uh, we s go to zero, and then the, this term cancel, and then this one gets one because e zero is also one. So one times one is one, and then minus this one because i s go to minus zero point two. So zero point two divided by minus zero point is minus one times e 
because s go to zero point minus zero point two, so zero point two p. So in that case, we get we get the uh, yt the step response, and then next step we want to calculate yn. Before we calculate yn, we need to know what's the sampling rate. So we remember in the simulation, when when we select the sampling rate is a Ts is 10, uh, is 0 0.1 second. It's uh, 10 hertz. So the sampling uh, frequency is 10 hertz. So in that case, uh, Ts is 0 0.1. And then we can sample the Yn. Yn is, so 1 is still uh, always 1, right? Because we also have this part 1, we have should times ut. The ut is like step. So uh, for one, uh, so this one is one. We are not uh, so we are not right. We just put there, and another put uh, item is exponential. It's e to the minus zero point two times uh, n times zero point one. Zero point one is something time. So and then this is y n, and based on this one y n. We can because this one is a z that is a, actually so we should times u u t as well. So this one is can directly write uh, uh, that transform. We can write y z is equals to equals to. So this is a unique step. So it's z z minus one, and for the exponential term is uh, you can just write uh, look at a table and then get the z. Or you can use the residual method again and the e minus 0 0.2 uh, 0 0.02 because t uh, 2 n. So this uh, no no n, there's a two, right? So this is a y z. After you get y z, you get uh, x z, and then you can get d z. D uh, HDZ, HDZ is equal to two x, z, uh, y, z. Divided by x, z. So uh, y, z is this form, and the, uh, x, z is, is the, this form. So uh, because here is not very easy to write, I will use MATLAB to calculate this one and to show you what's the result we get. And uh, now we, uh, this is finished of, uh, of the of the derived, but we can use we can show you how to use the MATLAB. So this is the MATLAB code. I use the uh, symbolic toolbox. Actually, I uh, I can calculate everything automatically, even Laplace transform, inverse Laplace transform, Z transform, everything. For example, I calculate uh, HDZ. First, I calculate HDZ is here. Uh, HDZ, I go to uh, run this one. So today the computer is a little bit slow. So uh, this is the HDZ, but it's not that uh, pretty. And I, I write a, a pretty form. So this one is the one, but it looks a little bit uh, uh, complex. This uh, e to the power, power of one over 50. So oh, this one will be very small number, but it's still greater than one because it's positive, so greater than one. So in that case, uh, this is very close to one, but one minus uh, one, this one, we can see what's the value here. It's, it's quite a small value. So 0 0.02, right? And But uh, this one is very close to one. So this is first of the system. Actually, this is the one we inputted in the Simulink So the first one, because we want to make it very accurate, so we use a very long digits. But actually, the first one, 0 0.02, is a similar as a, we designed 0 0.02. We didn't, we, we didn't give lots of uh, digits. And uh, we also can calculate uh, calculate uh, the coefficients of uh, the first Bottom item. So it's around one zero two zero 
two, and then you you have you should have the uh, coefficient is a uh, uh, one zero point two one zero point two and the, the minus one there. So we look at so this one point zero two and the minus one, right? You remember minus one, and then this one I just like. After the design, I directly input to the to this uh, filter. This digital, this is a digital uh, form. This is a continuous form. And then when we uh, write, you can see they are they are equivalent. Step response is equivalent, but how about if we change it to other? Uh, we change it to other uh, input. For example, here a sunny soil. I put a sunny soil. Here the sunny soil. Maybe I make a frequency is not that far. I mean, little slow frequency uh, to see what happens. If you slow frequency. Probably they are similar. They are still quite similar, but we cannot guarantee if we put a, a higher frequency. For example, we want to do the frequency is uh, one hundred even higher and then we can see what whether they are equivalent or not so they are definitely not equivalent right so the the continuous one is a uh, is is a, is a different with uh, the yeah. so that's uh, uh, I show you how to design uh, equivalent uh, uh, only step response equivalent. You can also use method to design impulse response matching or sunny solid, solid response matching and all it all also in exponential matching. But this only can guarantee maybe some particular signal to matching. So that's uh, uh, discussed uh, today. Uh, now I want to discuss about uh, the most important, uh, because other part, I already put the UTI sound and the reading material uh, because I don't have enough time. Uh, but I will go with uh, uh, you and during your uh, lifetime, maybe go to, uh, we look at uh, uh, what I put here. After the, I mean, uh, they here talking about the structure of IR and FIR filter. This is the first. Well, I, I believe that this one is a, it's better than uh, than than we use online display. So take, this is more efficient. The yeah, discuss of IR and FIR filter. They got structure. So this FIR because have no uh, Y part, Y part. So they give you the trans function as well. So this is structure. So you can read this one to know the structure of IR and FIR filter. And we can also go, uh, go continuously Some other part. So we have a how to do that. Uh, bilinear transformation is next one. Is give you a continuous signal, a continuous system. How to do that? A uh, equivalent uh, digital system. So we use bilinear transformation. But the bilinear transformation.
So tell you how to design a bilinear. Bilinear transformation is good thing is this one is use transformation method. So we can transfer any point in the analog uh, uh, domain to the Z domain. And then you can uh, design the bilinear transformation. I will, sh if I have time, I will show you next time, but you can read the video. I think the video is more clear. And also FIR filter design uh, mainly by hand. Uh, IR filter designed by hand. This one uh, told you a uh, detailed uh, This also bilinear transformation. This one. My, my thinking is that you can read this video because in the next lecture, uh, maybe we discuss about uh, uh, non stationary uh, signal processing is mainly used uh, called uh, short term Fourier transform. But before I go ahead, I want you totally understand the uh, digital filter design in the uh, for the uh, stationary signal first. So here this all the topic, uh, maybe I will come back to discuss with you. And then this IR filter design example already give to you. And then this is a design FIR filter to remove 50 hertz noise. Actually, I will show you uh, now about use MATLAB, how to do that and how to do re real time. And another topic is very important is like it's a linear phase of FIR filter. I will show you now use the Simulink again to see what's a, how powerful is the linear phase. Uh, there's, there's so many uh, content I cannot cover in one lecture. But I put everything in the UTS online, uh, uh, sorry, in the canvas. And I give you the uh, uh, explanation here. I use a MATLAB example uh, to show you what that really means. Now we go to uh, go to another code. It's called. Uh, We will show you the for your project because next we will go to uh, uh, we will go to lab time. So uh, Kari and uh, Jeff will be with you, and I will also visit. Uh, uh, I mean mainly in the main uh, classroom. If you want to discuss with me about the theory, and I'm still in the main classroom, and uh, Kari uh, will separate you in different uh, room. So in uh, for example, uh, they they are mainly based on the on the uh, announcement uh, Kari gave, who is in which uh, group. So we based on that, we uh, allocate the classroom. So you can go to the classroom uh, privately. That means you are, don't worry about uh, your, uh, your, your voice was be uh, heard by other group members. So we can make it uh, private, but you can also jump to the main classroom, discuss with me about things. Uh, so this is a linear phase, but I, I, I go I go to uh, use this uh, MATLAB code to show you what's the linear phase and how what how powerful it is. So um, for your project, last week or week before, we already give you the signal. So the signal actually is a polluted signal. For example, here, I'm you, uh, I assume you get, uh, for example, ECG signal. So in ECG signal, I open a Simulink as well. So we go to the one is I pro progress this uh, linear phase explanation. There's lots of, uh, so here you can see, probably this one is not the best one. I close this one, I open another one. Real time filter explanation, maybe this one is better. So here I, I give you some, uh,
uh, here I give you some example here. So this one you can see here we have uh, this signal is a ECG signal. So if we run this uh, program, we will know the ECG signal. What the ECG signal looks like. So ECG signal, that's a pure ECG signal. I mean, I didn't give any noise, but this is not possible in the real world. I'm just like, assume we have a purely uh, clean ECG signal, but it was polluted by uh, random noise and also 50 Hertz noise. I will show you uh, what the noise looks like. Here is uh, we just use uh, MATLAB to do the offline analysis. So this this is not a uh, uh, FIR, it's IR filter. It's IR filter is like we have delay and we have the things. Do you remember I give you the MATLAB code to do the spectrum analysis? You look at this spectrum. So this is a spectrum analysis. I, I give the code to you already. But you can see for this one, this is spectrum. Uh, the double side is double side band. So this part is related with the signal, with the ECG signal. The ECG signal is something looks like, uh, uh, I will show you what it looks like. The, the, you can see the blue one is the pure ECG signal without, without any noise. And this signal, the free, uh, the I do the I I do the free transform, and it looks like you can see uh, it looks like the red one, and uh, this part, the low low frequency every uh, component is mainly the signal, but we also have 50 hertz noise, 50 hertz noise, and it's here, so 50 hertz. You can see this 50 hertz. And uh, after filtering, the 50 hertz noise is, is smaller, becomes smaller, but still have, you can see they have difference, like uh, uh, the, the blue one is filtered, filtered signal. Uh, the red one is the polluted signal. So the polluted signal, they have a, this 50 hertz noise. This is very similar with your signal. In the, maybe you get a EMG signal or you get a ECG signal. But first, you need to do a Fourier transform to do spectrum analysis because you need to find which part is the signal. For example, we can see this part we can design a low pass filter uh, around 45 or 40 hertz and get rid of the 50 hertz noise. But the problem is, like, even you design that one, maybe you can because you have a slope, you cannot mm -hmm. guarantee you, you will not damage the, you will not damage the signal. So we need to uh, think about the design, not filter to just get rid of the 50 hertz. I will show you later. But uh, now we look at uh, the one, the simu, uh, the, the simulink. If we do the simulation, So we look at uh, what the signal looks like. So this is a polluted signal. You can see they have a 50, a 20, a 50 hertz noise and the plus the uh, random noise. So if we, we don't, if we don't have a 50 hertz and the random noise, the signal is quite clean. So we can see the clean signal. So this is the original clean signal. So we want to recover, totally recover, uh, not, not totally, but we want to recover this signal. So this uh, uh, ECG signal, right? This R point, because you want to recover this one, this information, this information, they are very important to do the clinical analysis. Uh, so we designed the filter. This is a low pass filter with low order. So you can see after the filter, maybe we don't want to change the original signal. So original signal is changed a little bit because of you want to get rid of 50 hertz noise. 
So you can see they, they, they are different. They are not that e exactly the same. But if I put connect to the 50 hertz noise, and then we can see, actually this is the one we designed the low pass uh, the filter, right? After the filter, it's, be it's better, it's not perfect, it's better. So you look at the original one and the, the filtered one. So filtered one is much better, right? So in, in your uh, design uh, uh, task, it's first to do the, uh, it's use the MATLAB to do offline analysis. You need to, uh, you need to uh, analyze the spectrum of the, of the signal. You get a piece of signal. So you need to find uh, where is the uh, signal uh, band, where is the noisy band. But then most likely you will have a 50 hertz noise as well. So they can see. This is, we use the uh, IR filter. IR filter have a disadvantage. It's like their phase is not a linear phase. So this is the phase response. So it's not linear, right? So this one uh, will have a little bit of change of the original uh, doc, uh, original signal. So that's why you already look at, at that already. But now, uh, if we uh, design a, if we design a, so this is a signal I generated actually is a ECG plus uh, some random noise and the plus some sunny soil is 50 hertz. And uh, then I designed, uh, this is a low pass IR filter. I can also design, I have designed a uh, notch filter. Notch filter to just get rid of 50 hertz, 50 hertz noise. Here is the uh, notch filter. You can see I uh, designed it like, uh, So this is a notch filter. So notch filter is only a cut, we cut off for frequency one is 50 hertz and the cut off frequency two is a 60 hertz. So that means between uh, 40 and 60, we will get, uh, I mean, we, we will deprive this kind of frequency signal. So uh, uh, it's, it's called a stop band, band stop FIR filter. So this filter can be linear phase and we only can we only need to get rid of uh, get rid of the digital uh, I mean get rid of the 50 hertz noise but not influence too much uh, about uh, the real signal so we'll have a look what's the 50 hertz one so this is a notch filter So this, uh, this is uh, still the spectrum analysis. This one you have to, to do is before, the, before you design filter. And then this is uh, the linear phase. So linear phase, you can see like the, the delay, uh, the phase uh, shift is uh, like, li like a straight line, it's linear. And uh, the, the delay, the time delay is the same. So it's a delay you can, because my, uh, the, the, the order is 80 hertz. And then the delay is half of that. And I will discuss, uh, you need to read at how to uh, design the, uh, how to guarantee the linear phase. Actually, we need a symmetry or anti-symmetry structure of the impulse response. I will show you like uh, what's the, uh, what's the coefficients look like. For example, here we go to the coefficient. Uh, actually, because we have designed the, So the coefficient actually we have, because for the uh, FIR filter, they only have a, I mean, the denominator is only, only one, always one, but the uh, numerator uh, is, a, is a symmetry. So we can see like we plot, we plot uh, the NN is the numerator. So you can see this is, a, this is the filter coefficient. Or you can see this is the impulse response. Actually, it's something looks like there's symmetry. 
this 50, uh, the order is 50. Yeah, sorry, it's 80. And then they are symmetry with this one, the 41. Yeah. So this one is linear phase, can guarantee the linear phase. So you will see the why linear phase is good. So I will show you why linear phase is good. You can see this one is exactly match, nearly exactly match with the original signal. You nearly cannot see the blue line, right? You nearly cannot see the blue line. The red line is covered the blue line. And also you can see, uh, actually, but they have a bad thing is they have a delay because they delay, they delay around uh, 40 uh, seconds, 40, 40 uh, sampling time. Uh, so uh, you can see the, uh, So their delay is 40. Now uh, we go back to the Simulink. So I put the 50 hertz band stop filter I, I designed already. I put this one here to see what happened. Will be better than, maybe will be better than the, the one. I have IR filter. If I run this one, What will happen? So you can see this one is a uh, much better, right? This uh, nearly recover this one. So you can see this one is a uh, 20 hertz noise, uh, sorry, 50 hertz noise. It's totally get to totally removed. The good thing is this is a real time. So we, when when we do that, because we if we have a, a machine, we want to measure the ECG. We can directly implement the ECG measurement like this in real time. No need to get the ECG and then get rid of the noise. So this is very important. So this is the real part uh, re implementation. I hope you can, uh, after the, uh, the design, use uh, MATLAB. And if you can, uh, because my one cannot run the live view at this stage, uh, maybe I will ask in future, I have the uh, license and I can run the uh, live view. But live view can do better than the use uh, Simulink because Simulink is sometimes, is, I call this half uh, real time because we cannot connect to the hardware directly. Of course, you can purchase uh, the, 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 the machine uh, from a, a MATLAB uh, recommended and then you can connect the hardware. Uh, of course, for this semester, we cannot show you uh, connect to hardware. But in the real, uh, in previous uh, semester or in the future, uh, we can go to the lab and the lab, we can demo in the real time. So we can see like uh, the signal is clean uh, by your filtering technique. Uh, but if uh, you also have similar difficulty with me, and then you can also use Simulink to do the semi uh, real time implementation. So in that case, I summarize our stage one. Stage one is first, we do the offline analysis. First is a spectrum. We did that. Uh, we did that uh, uh, filter. I mean, did that free transform. I already give you the code. You just use that code. You can do the spectrum analysis, and then you can get uh, get where is the noise. It does it have a 50 hertz noise, and then you can put a 50 hertz uh, the filter. Of course, you can put a two filter together, and the two. Uh, for example, for this one, I can put two two uh, filter together. Get rid of not only just 50 hertz, we can also get rid of lots of other noise. For example, I put the low pass filter back again and I connect them together. And then what we can see, it is not as big, uh, as better as uh, uh, the previous uh, FIR filter because uh, for this particular signal, maybe we no need to get rid of uh, maybe uh, some uh, use low pass filter. But for your case, for example, you are EEG uh, or EMG, maybe you need to low pass. Even maybe you don't need to notch, but uh, really depends. That's why I ask you first to offline analysis and then you design the filter and then do the MATLAB, <coughs> MATLAB simulation. And then you, you do the real time uh, implementation like me here, we can use, but this one, is you use a uh, Simulink and then you can use uh, Live View. Like we will do like uh, together, we put them together to do what happened. 
So uh, you can see it's a, I see a little bit better or, or, or worse, but it's a, see, it's more smooth because the low pass filter put something low pass, but maybe damage uh, some uh, peak value. So this is not good. Uh, now is uh, the time we need to go to the lab. Uh, we have lots of uh, topic I didn't cover, uh, but I maybe uh, in the future I will cover the topic because you need to uh, watch the video and then you understand the things and and after that you uh, do the, your project and then you have more knowledge and more intuitive understanding of this subject. Uh, thank you. Uh, Curry. Yeah, I'm here. Hi, Curry. Thank you. So uh, I will uh, put you as the, the, maybe I put you as the, yeah, cool. I put you as the, uh, maybe you, you, you take my role. You are you okay. will be the host. Uh, and then you, uh, you uh, separate the student in the, in the different room. Yeah. Maybe you can explain to them uh, about the project as well in the main room yeah. and then uh, separate them uh, in different room. And I will be mainly in the main room and uh, you and uh, Jeff, you, Jeff, you is also around, right? Yeah. Hi, Jeff, you. Yeah. Hi, Jeff, you. Yeah, hi. Hi. Maybe you and the Kari, uh, you can go to different room and help student. Yeah. I think currently we have uh, how many groups? Six or five? Uh, I think we have six groups at the moment. Okay. Uh, yeah. So I will uh, start to separate uh, uh, people into breakout rooms. But uh, um, for now, I think I just do a little bit introduction on this week's lab, and uh, I'll do a demo using my lab on how to import data, uh, do do the data segmentation and FFT and a little bit about filter as well. Uh, Phil, uh, Jeff Phil will do the demo on LabVIEW. Uh, we all gonna stay in the main room for all those demonstrations. And after that, um, you can just join into your own breakout rooms. I'll name uh, the group the group names. So uh, I think you would know which room you should jump into. Uh, once we finish the demo, you can jump into, into your own breakout rooms. Uh, one of your uh, group members should start to share the screen um, uh, and start to work on my lab uh, or lab view um, and the tutors and um, now we will just join in uh, the rooms if you have any questions or if you have any difficulties uh, so i guess we can uh, take a five minutes break uh, so i can sort out the breakout rooms and uh, i guess at uh, 7 25 i'll start the um, lab session so that's okay, good. that's great. So, uh, oh, they have some chat I missed maybe. Uh, no, I think that's they answering your your oh. uh, uh, questions. <laughs> oh, sorry, so many. Uh, uh, yeah, and why? Uh, what I want is like, can you uh, because can you uh, switch back to my uh, as me to be a cost and I yeah. will. Sorry. Yeah, so, so you're, you're not the host now. I'm in the host, uh, yeah. 